Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here with a new After Effects tutorial about how to combine the new Video Copilot plugin Saber with Element 3D and have everything link up and line up. So if you haven't seen it already, Saber is a new free plugin by Video Copilot that you can use to create these light beams and sabers and link them to things like mass and text. And in the intro video, Andrew Kramer talked about one example he had where it lined up with Element 3D, but didn't quite go into detail about how to set it up. So I was trying to figure this out and I wanted to go over some fun things you can do with getting this all set up to line up with 3D texture objects in Element 3D. And the really cool thing about this is it's completely procedural. So all we have to do is update one layer and everything automatically updates, not only with the Saber layer, but also our Element 3D text. So we take a look at this file. We have our Element 3D layer and a camera looking at it so we get some perspective and two layers of Saber on top to create those spark glow effects and one behind it. And even if we move our camera around, we can see that everything links up and lines up correctly and we don't get any slipping or moving around. So let's talk about how to set this up and build it out. I'm gonna make a new composition with Command N and I'll call this E3D text, and then I'm just gonna get my text tool and create some text. Now this will be our basis for everything. So I'm just gonna type out the word motion and I'll center that in my scene. And if I wanna get it exactly centered, I could go to this align panel and snap that to the center. And that'll help us out later because everything will be oriented exactly with the dead center of our composition. Now to make 3D text out of this, I'm gonna make a new solid and I'll call this E3D and let's make it bright pink because that's fun and will stand out. And then in my effects, I'm gonna get element and drag that onto the solid. And to get 3D text out of that After Effects layer, I'm gonna go to custom layers and custom text and mass and put path layer one as that word motion that we have back here. And then I'm gonna jump into scene setup and click extrude and that's gonna create my 3D text. And then I'm just gonna go to presets, bevels, and just grab one of these just so we have some nice depth with this so we can see what's going on when we get into 3D. And if we wanted to make this bigger, we could just grab any of these and maybe extrude it a little more and offset on Z, just push it back. And then I'll go to OK. Now there's our 3D text and it snaps to the center of the world. So if we put back on this motion layer, we can see it pretty close to lines up. We just might have a bit of shifting with our perspective. So what we can do to get this exactly lined up is I'm gonna make this word motion a 3D layer and go to two views and then I'm gonna look from the front and make sure it's lined up and it looks good there. And then I'm gonna to go to top and it's sitting in the middle of this cause it's all orienting to the center. So we can just grab that text layer and pull it to the front of the text. So if we go back to our main view, it looks like it's actually sitting on top of the text. And then I'm gonna sort of make a new camera so we can orbit around and see how this all lines up. And there we can see it's actually all orienting correctly, which again is pretty important once we get into adding the Saber effects. And then we can just turn that motion layer off because we're just using it for reference. And then to get the new Saber plugin, I'm gonna again make a new solid and I'll call this Saber. I'll leave that on top and I'm gonna go down to Effects, Video Copilot, Saber. And that's gonna drop in our default plugin where we can make a cool lightsaber, but that's not what we're trying to do with this. What we wanna do is go to Customize Core, and instead of the saber type under Core Type, we're gonna go to Text Layers, and then we can add that same motion text that we typed out right there. And it's gonna be a little bright, but if we take the glow intensity down, we can see it's creating a core and glow around that word motion. And if we change our blending mode on that Saber layer to something like add or screen, now we can see it all blends through and we just need to make that Saber layer a 3D layer so it will fit on top. And if we look at it from the top, it's also sitting in the middle of our scene because it was just a solid 3D layer that we set up. So we want to grab the position of that word motion and paste it to that Saber layer and that will get it exactly to where this is. And then we might just need to slide it up to get it to line up. Now again, what's cool about this is because Element 3D and this 3D Saber layer are all working in the same 3D space so it'll line up. So now if we wanna adjust our 
saber effects and maybe get some of that cool displacement look, we can go to saber and change the preset. And we get something like this burning if we wanted fiery text. And that's pretty cool because it'll animate. Maybe another one like Inferno. Maybe a different one like this arc reactor like we had going on in the original one. And then this is all going to line up. Now what's really cool is we can stack different saber layers to get different versions of the effect to blend together. So if I duplicate that saber layer and leave it on top, I can change that one. Maybe I'll put the second copy as something else like Patronus. And then we could adjust each one separately to blend together a bit. And we could keep going with this because again, if we look at our top view, all we're actually doing is setting up these flat solid layers that are just matching up exactly. So if we wanted one to be sitting in the back, we could do that same process of duplicating it. So I'll duplicate our main saber effect that's on this arc reactor. And I'm gonna put it behind our element 3D layer. And then in 3D space, I'm just gonna move it in Z to right behind this. And same idea, then if we orbit our camera around, it's all gonna line up. And the awesome thing about this is it's all pulling from this same hidden text layer. So if we wanted to change this, we could just make some other awesome text and you can see it automatically lines up. And you could even use this effect without Element 3D to get some cool effects. If we just turned off Element 3D, we could position different saber layers in 3D space and kind of build out three-dimensional text and depth with repeating and offset layers of saber and come up with some really interesting results if we kind of adjust these and change this. So it's a really cool technique to combine Element 3D and this new Saber plugin where you can drop it all in the same 3D space, orbit your camera around, easily change the text, and kind of put all of our fun plugins that we love to mess around with together. So this was a fun one to put together. I hope you learned a lot with this quick little tip about combining them. And if you want to learn more about some of my methods of using Element 3D and After Effects, you can check out some of my other Element 3D and After Effects tutorials by clicking any of those thumbnails where we'll go into things like motion tracking, creating 3D logos, motion graphics, and visual effects. And if you want access to this project file where I already set that up, you can get a hold of that by becoming a Patreon subscriber at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. And if you want more weekly tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. As always, thanks for watching this cool tutorial, and I will see you at the next video. Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at seanfrangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see See you at the next video.